Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Core Duo video. In this video, we're going to install Nextcloud on an Unraid server. So let's get started. All right, guys, so go ahead and log into your Unraid server. As you guys can see, I'm using the trial version. Uh, I went ahead and installed that. I wanted to try it out as my um, home server instead of using Freenas. I wanted to give it a little bit of a trial run. Um, went ahead and got Plex Media Server. I got Nextcloud installed. Um, it took a little while for me to get Nextcloud installed, but with the help of Linux Server IO and his plugins, his um, Docker installations, and with a couple other blogs and forums, I was able to get it running. So uh, I just kind of want to share the information with you guys. So uh, let's get started here by just um, opening up your on RAID server, going to your apps tab here. And if you don't have this apps tab, it's because you're missing the community plugin, which is right under here. Uh, community applications, you can install it by clicking install plugin. There is a link here for you, right there. So you can just install it by using that link. Okay, so let's get back to this part. We'll go to apps, we're gonna go to Maria. DB. We're just going to type that in. All right, so the author is Linux server here. What we want to do is click on the download button. So here we're going to change a few settings. We're going to do MariaDB dash next cloud. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to change the port to 3305. And we're going to, of course, enter in a root password. We don't want to leave this as blank. So we're just going to do it for testing purposes, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to click show more settings and change this to dash next cloud as well. And then click apply. This will take uh, just a couple minutes for it to install. All right, now that that's done, we're going to click on the done button. Let's go ahead and we're going to create a user for the database. We're going to create that database, create the user, and we're going to use that to log in. So let's do that by opening up our PuTTY. We're going to type in the IP address or the host name of your server. Um, I have mine saved. So I'm just going to type in the pass the, uh, the root and password for it. Okay, so I'm in. So now the first thing we want to do is log into the Docker for MariaDB. And to do so, you just want to type in docker exec-it space MariaDB dash next cloud and then bash right there click enter it's going to put you into this we're going to type in my sql space dash u root space dash p and now uh, oh, type that in incorrectly let's put the q in there enter and now type in the root password that you made which are one two three four five and now i'm in so uh, i'm going to go ahead and put these commands in the um in the description below but uh, what you want to do is just put in these uh, mysql commands to uh, create the user create the database so i'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that in there so create user tech core identified by your password okay so you can make the password whatever you want click enter we'll go to the next line next line is creating the database i'm going to paste this in here so create database if not exists next cloud Okay, and then we're going to do grant all permissions on that Nextcloud database to our tech core, which is our username that I created. And oh, didn't mean to copy that. Let me just copy this line again. Okay, and that is copied and pasted. So grant all privileges on Nextcloud to tech core identified by the password 12345. Okay, so just make sure you guys do, you know, change this to as you want. You can change it to admin, whatever password you want. It's just those two lines there. Okay, and then from here, we can just exit out. We'll exit again. We'll leave this on the side because we'll, we'll need to be back, be back in there shortly. So let's go to our dashboard here. We can click on MariaDB and restart this. Okay, so let's give that a minute or so. Now, um, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and install Nextcloud. So let's go to our... Uh, apps here. Okay, we're going to wait for that to populate. We're going to type in Nextcloud. And as you see here, the author is Linux server for this again, which he's made some amazing apps for the Unraid community. So we'll go ahead and click the install button there. 
We'll leave this as Nextcloud. Linux server, I'm gonna leave that as well. So for this part, I changed the, uh, the host port to 444. Uh, here is where the data is gonna be stored. So let's create the data folder now. So we can do this either by just uh, browsing SNB to the folder and creating the, the data path, but uh, I'm just gonna do it through um, our command prompt here. You know what, I wanna make this a little bit bigger for you guys to see a little bit easier. Hopefully um, it wasn't too bad before. Let's just make this bold. Let's make this uh, 16, click OK, and apply. And that should be a little bit easier for you guys to see. So um, just to go back before, create user tech core, create database of non-existent Nextcloud, grant all permissions on Nextcloud. All right, and then just exit out. OK, so now I want to do a CD forward slash. To get back to the root, you can type in ls to see what is here. So we're going to do um, a cd mnt, okay, and then ls again. You can see that these are your disks. It'll have the user folder, which is where we want to go. So cd user. And then in here is where you kind of store a lot of your data. So I have my Plex Media here. Um, you can do your ISOs. I'm going to go ahead and install or set up a directory called cloud. So mkdir cloud. And just leave it at that. So now we're gonna move this back to the side. We're gonna go ahead and click on here, and now there's gonna be a cloud folder listed. So we'll click on that, scroll down. We don't need to make any other changes here. We'll click apply. We'll wait another minute for this to install. All right, so that command finished. We're gonna click done. Okay, so you can go to Docker or dashboard to view them. So we'll go to Docker. As you can see here, we have MariaDB, we have Nextcloud, they're both running. Let's go ahead and open up Nextcloud and log in. So we'll click on Web UI. It's going to give you this not private because it's using HTTPS. Click Advanced and proceed. So here we are. So we're going to go ahead and create our admin account. We're going to click on Storage and Database and then Maria SQL. Let's create the user. So it's going to be admin. Password's going to be just 12345. Make it whatever you want. We'll go to database user, and it's going to be the one that we created for the MariaDB prior. So tech core password is the one I had created. This is going to be next cloud, and the local host is going to be changed to 192.168.86.93 colon 3305 is what we made the MariaDB port. So make sure you put in your Unraid server here, and then put the port that we created for MariaDB. Okay, and then we'll click Finish Setup. And this could take a minute or two to uh, create setup and get this account rolling. All right, guys, so we're in. So here we are, so we close this out. We have Nextcloud, we are in it, we're using our internal IP, and we're uh, good to go with that. So our next step is making it um, accessible from the outside, making it available for us using a dynamic or a DNS name. So um, let's go ahead and set that up. So I had went to noip.com, noip.com and I created a, um, a domain name here so just use one of those one of their free ones you guys can do that and create your own if you guys haven't purchased one already but uh, I'm using one from here for now just for testing purposes so um, what we want to do now is install their let's encrypt uh, docker and it is by the same person Linux server he had created so let's go ahead and go to apps we're gonna type in just let's and here is the Let's Encrypt right there. So what you want to do is before you install this, make sure you have port forwarding set up on your um, router beforehand because this will not be able to communicate with the outside and get that um, registered name, get the IP address and so on so that it creates that H, um, SSL certification for you. So, um, so for instance, so on my router, I did a port forward, a port forward of 80, 80, and then 2, 81, and then I did a port forward of 443, 2, 442. All right, so try to set that up in your router. If you guys have any, any issues with that, just search up your manufacturer um, of the router. They have guides on how to do a port forwarding for you. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. If you guys still need more assistance, just leave it in the comments. We'll help you out the best we can. Okay, so 
we'll go ahead and start installing this since I have that already set up. We're going to scroll down. So right here, HTTP, we want to put in port 81 just because um, Unraid uses port 80 and it, it'll just conflict with this Docker. So we have to use 81. Um, HTTPS, we're going to make it 442. Same reason, 443 is being used. So we're going to keep that there. Email registration, so you guys can make it whatever you guys want. So I'm just going to put in a fake one for now. Admin at techcoreduo.com. Okay. Domain name, you're going to put in the domain name. So mine is ddns.net. And then you want to put the subdomain. So mine is tcd cloud. We're going to leave that there. And then only here it says only subdomains. We want to make this true. We will then scroll down. Let's just make sure show more settings here. Yep, everything else looks great. Okay, so we're going to leave this as is. We're going to hit apply. Okay, now that that's done, we'll click done here. And one great way to, to tell if the Let's Encrypt is working properly, you wanna go ahead and click on Let's Encrypt, click logs, and from here, you can check to see if it works, and there we go. So it has the certification set up, server is ready to go. Now we just need to make our configuration changes. So essentially what we gotta do is point the Let's Encrypt um, NGINX server to go to the next cloud. So it's essentially a proxy or a reverse proxy setup. So let's go ahead and get that started. So first thing we want to do is we can browse to it via um, via putty here, or we can use a program such as WinSCP. All right, we're going to type in root tower. We're going to click. So that's my root tower. So I typed in the host name of Unraid, the username, and now it's going to ask me for my password. Okay, so we're gonna go to app data here. So if you want to start, let's start from the root. So here's the root of our Unraid server. We're gonna to go to mount, mount, and then we're gonna to go to user. We're gonna to go to app data, let's encrypt. We're gonna to go to uh, nginx, site comps. So we wanna edit this default right here, okay? So the default that we're going to edit this to is we're essentially going to remove all of this here. Control A, delete. I'm going to go ahead and grab what I have open here on the side and paste that in here. So let's see. So it's going to be this whole command line. I'm going to go ahead and toss this into the description as well. Um, you know what, it, I'll actually put it on our website instead because I don't know how well uh, YouTube is going to handle this and all the code I'm going to be throwing in there. Uh, so just come to our website, check that out. So as you see here, um, it has the server, all that information. The only thing you need to change is your server name right here. I'm going to remove that forward slash. You want to also come down here and the location proxy pass. You want to put in the location of your server. Um, so you put in your IP address, put in the port for Nextcloud so that it knows where to point. Okay, so you want to go ahead and click save, and it's going to save that in that location. You can definitely do this all through the um, through SSH here, um, and that should work just as fine as well. So now that that is done, let's go ahead and do the same thing for Nextcloud. So we're going to go back to App Data. We're going to go to Nextcloud. We're going to go to nginx. Nope, sorry. We're going to go to www, nextcloud, config, and here it is config.php. So we need to change this. We're going to open this up. The only thing we really want to change here is we're going to make another line under array. So we're going to make this a one equals. And then we're going to add 
these right here. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger. Select font, say 18, okay, and okay. There we go. We're gonna make this um, TCD cloud dot ddns dot net and comma and now we're just going to save this click the save button close that and minimize these for now okay so now let's go ahead and restart both let's encrypt and nextcloud so just give it a minute to do that the next thing we want to do is edit our hosts file. So let me go ahead and pull up our host file here. Okay, so I have our hosts file. This is located under your system 32 drivers, etc hosts. So um, you can edit that. So what I did was I put in the IP address, including the, the port for Nextcloud and just put the domain name next to it. So space domain name, Let's also make this a little bigger for you guys as well. So as you can see here. All right, then you just wanna click the save button and then you're done. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. We're gonna type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash TCD cloud dot DDNS dot net, enter. And here we are. So it wants to add as a trusted domain 443. So you can do that while you're on the internal server. Click that, it's gonna just let you in. Are you sure you wanna do that? We'll click yes. Go back to files and because we logged in before, it already saved, that, saved all that for you. So we're in. Let's go ahead and test it on VPN now too. All right, so what we wanna do here is type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash TCD cloud dot DDNS dot net. And we'll see how that works. And here we are. And that's it. So if you guys have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below. If you guys didn't like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Let us know what we can do to make it better. Um, like and subscribe and enjoy your day.